Hi, and welcome to this Leverage Technologies presentation of SAP Business One. What we want to do today is have a brief overview of the look and feel and some of the great functions and features available in SAP Business One. What we'll do is we'll start by looking at the dashboards and the cockpit view of SAP Business One, and then we'll drill down into a brief overview of the various levels of functionality from administration, financials, CRM, sales purchasing, inventory, production and service. And then we'll do a little bit on reporting. The intention of this presentation is to give first time viewers an overview of SAP Business One. If you want a more detailed view of any particular section in SAP Business One, for example, CRM and sales opportunities or manufacturing and production or inventory control, then if you look on our YouTube Leverage Tech page or go to our website leveragetech.com.au, you'll see that we have a number of presentations quite specifically on those areas of functionality. So today is just a, a 15 or 20 minute overview. So let's begin. When we log into SAP Business One, we get this cockpit view of the world. So here, for example, I have my customer receivables aging. That's because I've logged in as a finance user and I want access to my customer receivables aging dashboard. I have my open documents so on the right hand side here. I can go directly into, for example, my open AR invoices. Nice, quick, easy access to the information I want. Of course, once I'm here, I can double click and I can drill down. Great drill down and drill around functionality available inside SAP Business One. I have my messages and alerts down here so I can go along and I can see what my outstanding activities are for today in my to-do list and I can go into one of those activities and look at my to-do list for today or in fact assign that to-do list or that particular item or activity to someone else. I can have workflow inside SAP Business One so here's a request for document approval where I can go in and I can look at that particular request or internal requisition which is currently pending and as an approver, a manager, I can approve that particular transaction. So again, workflow, approval procedures, built standard into SAP Business One. I can go from this page directly to my common functions, so straight into a sales order, for example. What we've done here with SAP Business One is made it easy to navigate to get to the information you want to look at your KPIs and dashboards. Of course, I can go from this dashboard to, for example, my sales analysis dashboard. If I was logged in as a sales user, I might want sales analysis information. Well, there it is in that particular dashboard. Of course, I have a full diary system, so I can go in and I can put my meetings, appointments and notes inside that diary system inside SAP Business One. I can, of course, link documents and attachments. So part of document management within SAP Business One. I can attach a contract, for example, to a customer or a technical specification to an item inside SAP Business One. I can launch reports from directly within here. So let's go to an Excel-based pivot table. There it is. Launched it from that particular menu in SAP Business One. Now make some changes to the pivot table. Nice and simple. I can obviously do things from here, like run a report and push it into Microsoft Excel, or I can fax an email from within the application. So I might create a purchase order, then email that directly to a supplier, for example. A wildcard search, so if I just search for everything with Office in the name, it brings up three items with Office in the name. Choose the one I want, drill down to the one in question. Nice, quick, easy access to that information with that wildcard search. As I now go into the modular view of SAP Business One, a multi-company system, multi-exchange rate system, obviously I can purchase in US dollars or euros and sell in Australian dollars, report in US dollars. I can, for example, as we said earlier, have approval procedures where, for example, a requisition above a certain value has to be approved by a senior manager. I can have alerts management. Alerts is slightly different to approvals. With approvals, somebody needs to physically approve the transaction, whereas with alerts management, it simply notifies me of that condition. So here's a deviation from budget. So if someone exceeds budget, notify me of that condition. Another good example might be deviation from percentage discount. If a sales order goes through and the discount is greater than 10%, please advise me. 
So what we're seeing there in SAP Business One, far more than being an accountant, inventory or production system, we've also got built-in workflow, built-in alerts, uh, built-in approval procedures. The financials in SAP Business One, a very flexible chart of accounts. Down the bottom right-hand side, I can see my assets, liabilities, capital and reserves and turnover. Down the bottom left-hand side, I can see some distribution rules and dimensions, project, division, location, department, branch and product line. These are great abilities to now slice and dice your information. So give me a profit and loss just by that division, just by that New South Wales location. Give me a profit and loss just for that particular product line. So again, the ability to slice and dice information in the general ledger. Nice functions and features on journal entry, obviously the ability to put through an accrual today and reverse it on the first of the following month. Template type journals, recurring journals, etc. A full fixed assets module in SAP Business One, including the ability to have book and tax depreciation, capitalization dates, manual depreciation, special depreciation, standard depreciation, revaluations on assets, etc., all incorporated inside SAP Business One. A full budget system in SAP Business One for multiple budget scenarios. So run my P&L year-to-date actual, and for the remainder of the financial year, please run it on my budget. Which budget do you want to use? Your optimistic, your standard budget, your pessimistic budget, etc. Budget scenarios can be copied or imported. Cost accounting, we touched on this a little bit earlier, but the ability to have divisional accounting, profit centers, cost centers, etc., inside SAP Business One. Sales opportunities, as part of the CRM and SAP Business One, you can keep sales opportunities. And a sales opportunity, instead of keeping a lead and an opportunity in Excel, you now keep it inside SAP Business One, not just for customers, but for leads as well. Keeping information like what product ranges are they interested in? Where did the lead come from? What stage are you at in that particular sales cycle? What percentage chance have you got of closing? What's the potential and weighted amount? Who are your competitors? Who are you partnering with? And did you win or lose the opportunity? Also, as we touched on earlier, the ability to have attachments in SAP Business One and related documents. So let's say, for example, that we've answered an RFQ for this particular opportunity, or we can attach a quotation. We can keep all of that information together and then multiple different aspects we can report on associated with our sales opportunities. Business partners in SAP Business One, the ability to obviously keep suppliers, customers, and leads. A couple of things to show you on here. Firstly, I can create my own user-defined fields. Down the right-hand side, I have insurance, industry, industry group, and customer type, my own user-defined fields. I can change user field names very easily on the main form. I can incorporate these user-defined fields on the main form. I can have multiple contact persons, multiple addresses, multiple payment terms, multiple price lists, multiple properties so I can start to group my customers, and again, attachments and remarks. I can drill down to look quickly at their account balance if I want, or if I want that graphically, let's go to their orders and view them graphically. There it is. So again, what we're doing in SAP Business One, we start at a high level of information, we drill down very quickly. I can keep activities against customers phone calls, meetings, notes, tasks, etc., associated with that particular customer. As we go into sales, I can do a sales quotation, becomes a sales order, a delivery, and an AR invoice, or I could simply go in and do an AR invoice. I don't have to follow the various steps. Where I, where I have followed the various steps, though, I can do what's called a relationship map, and I can see that that quotation became that order, that delivery, and that AR invoice. Quick and easy, I want to drill down to the delivery, drill down, there's the delivery. The same is true on the purchasing side. I can, if I want, follow the various steps, do a purchase request, purchase quotation, with or without approvals, a purchase order, a goods receipt into the warehouse, an AP invoice, or I could simply go in and create an AP invoice. So I can either follow the steps or I can miss out multiple steps and simply do document creation as I wish. Banking, obviously incoming and outgoing payments, a payment wizard which is great in assisting me to run through the AP invoices by due date and decide who should be paid when and then automatically create the ABA file for EFT for Australian banking. Bank reconciliations, manual mechanism or automatic mechanism for bank reconciliations to assist me in doing those lengthy bank recs. Inventory control in SAP Business One, a full inventory control system, including the ability to have batch traceability or to have serial number traceability in SAP Business One. 
the ability to have multiple warehouses and within the warehouses to have bin locations. So these items are in warehouse three, red zone, R2, location A. The ability to have min-max stock levels. The ability to have multiple units of measure. So I buy these in dozens, but I sell in individuals. I buy in kilograms, but I sell in a different unit of measure. Planning data, the ability to tell the system whether I buy or make this item because we also have full production in SAP Business One. If I buy it, how often do I buy it? How long does it take to get to me? What's the lead time, etc.? This information the system will use to help us through material requirements planning and production planning associated with purchasing raw materials on time. Multiple properties against the item, remarks against the item, and again, attachments. So an attachment against the item might be a technical specification, for example. Other things to look at very briefly in inventory control, I can do things obviously like an inventory transfer between warehouses, I can do cycle count recommendations inside SAP Business One. I have a pick and pack manager to assist me with deciding which goods should get picked and packed when and to help facilitate the pick and pack process in the warehouse. Production and resource planning in SAP Business One, I can obviously have a bill of materials uh, as part of my production planning and produce a production order and I can have resource management. So resource management in SAP Business One is the ability to look at the capacity constraints. So for example, machine and labor constraints inside my production facility. So here I have a sanding machine. How many hours does that machine run for? Uh, what are the constraints against the machine? A combination of resource capacity and daily capacities on resourcing and production planning will help me to facilitate the production planning process to see if in fact I have any bottlenecks as part of my production planning or I need to move or reschedule any production because of any labor or machine or other bottlenecks. MRP and SAP Business One, the ability to put a forecast into the system and then to take that forecast and run through an MRP wizard, which will then help me with my production and with my purchase planning to make purchase recommendations. So in that instance, the system will balance up my supply and demand, my lead times, my sales orders, my purchase orders on stock, min max stock levels, forecast demand. The system will automatically balance those aspects and will recommend what purchase orders should be placed for either production or for inventory. The service module in SAP Business One, a full service module, including the ability to log service calls, what was the nature of the call, what was the solution of the call, what was the expense associated with the call to service a particular item, either in-house or in the field, uh, your customer equipment card, where is that piece of equipment, which customer has it, is there a contract against the piece of equipment. So the ability to keep information associated with servicing equipment, uh, and contracts against equipment and equipment cards. Let's not forget on that subject that there are mobility devices for SAP Business One, for the Apple device and Android, for either servicing of equipment or CRM. So a service technician could be out in the field and could get service information to an Android or Apple device. And likewise, a CRM user could get, for example, customer information, stock availability, could do a quotation in the field based on their mobility device. So what we've seen here in SAP Business One in this brief overview is that it is a complete end-to-end -end ERP application, starting with what we looked at in terms of dashboards and this cockpit view through to the fact that it's multi-company, multi-currency, multi-warehouse, looked at the financials and the dimensions in the financials for reporting, CRM and sales opportunities, the flexibility of the sales and purchasing situation. If we want, we can have purchase orders with approvals, but we don't have to run those. Extensive inventory control, serial tracking, batch tracking, etc. Production and resourcing and MRP uh, to help us with that production planning and resource planning and inventory planning and the service management. Let's now close off by looking very briefly at reporting. We looked earlier at the standard KPIs and dashboards in SAP Business One, and we looked at the fact that we can embed, for example, Excel pivot tables into SAP Business One. Easy access to information. Let's open up some of the standard reports. And what we'll see is that there are a number of standard reports sitting inside SAP Business One. Badge reporting, etc., inside the system. Let's just go and open up some of these production reports, MRP reports, 
So look at all of those standard reports, business partner reports, banking reports. And when I open up one of these standard reports inside SAP Business One, the next thing I'll notice, let's go and open one up. So let's take, for example, a um, here's a nice example of profit and loss. When I open a profit and loss just by a certain date or date range, do I want it for just a particular project, just a particular division or location, for example. So when I open up a report, I get multiple options within that report. Another example of that might be if I go to sales reporting and I open up, for example, a sales report, sales analysis, do I want it just by customer or by item? Do I want the report by item, then by customer, just for certain properties, for example? So again, I can narrow down the information that I'm looking for. Let's not forget, I can also incorporate into the system um, standard uh, SAP crystal reports. So here, for example, let's look at 2012 data. We'll go back a little bit because we know there's some good demo data there. Let's open that up. And here's a nice graphical report for Earthshaker Corporation, salesperson Sophie, sales by item, by group, sales by month, top 30 products. Page one, a nice graphical report. Page two, more detail. Back to the nice graphical report. Let's have a look at another example of that. Let's go into sales opportunities and look at a report that we've written there, which is, let's go to opportunity analysis. Here it is, let's expand that. Total potential revenue by salesperson, Sophie Bill Brad. We can see that Sophie has the lion's share of potential revenue. $861,000 against Bill, who has 230. By number of opportunities, we can see Sophie has 17, Jim has six. So again, we're starting to get more information. Now let's go onto the next page and view just Bill's information, just Brad's information, back to the group information. So again, embedded into SAP Business One, SAP Crystal Reports. Other aspects of reporting that are available inside SAP Business One. Let's go and have a look here at Earthshaker Corporation. Let's just move that over there. I'm on the phone talking to Earthshaker Corporation and what I want to do is get some quick easy access to their sales information. I pick up their customer code, I drag it over the information I'm looking for, in this case the AR invoice information, let it go, there's the information I want. Now I double click and sort. Show you that again, take their customer code, drag it over their deliveries, which is in this case the information that I'm looking for, let it go, there's the information I want, double click, sort, right click, filter. Okay quick, easy access to information. Another thing on reporting, let's say you want to write some of your own reports, the different methods to do this, but very quickly, let's say that I want a uh, report written with customer code, customer name, fax number, phone number, account balance. Very quickly, I go to tools, I go to queries, let's go to the query generator, OCRD, type in the table name, there are different ways to find the table name in SAP Business One. Now I just click on what I want, customer code, customer name, phone number, I think we said fax number, let's throw in contact person notes, and I think we said account balance. Execute the report, there it is, ready to go. Now I can save that report that I've just written onto my menu structure. Quick, easy access to information. That's what we want to give you with SAP Business One. And I think SAP has certainly achieved that through multiple different reporting options. I just showed you a few very quick options there. Obviously, there are lots of others available to us as well. So what we've seen today is a brief overview of SAP Business One. I hope what it's impressed upon you is that uh, there are multiple different reporting options in SAP Business One and that SAP Business One is an end-to-end -end system catering for everything from finance and multi-company right through to production, inventory control, service management, CRM, all built inside a single solution. And as I said earlier, let's not forget available to mobility devices as well. Thanks for watching. Uh, there are plenty of other more detailed presentation on each functional section available on our website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation.